YouTube is changing. And in 2025, if you aren't using AI in some way, well, then you're just being absolutely dumb. There's people out there creating these hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour long videos using completely AI tools and making so much money. And I'm gonna be honest, I started doing the same thing that they're doing around a month ago, not even a month. And I'm making over $150 every single day now. And it is so easy. Like, I, I can't believe it. My mind is blown. As you guys can see, I started posting on October 4th and not even one month later on October 31st. Happy Halloween. This channel has made $1,500 and yesterday's revenue hasn't even updated yet. So uh, it should be around like $165, $170 for October 30th. So this channel has pretty much made around $1,700 plus in less than 30 days and it is really simple to do. And I'm gonna explain it all in this video. And the best part is in the past, I've been paying hundreds or thousands of dollars for my YouTube channels to have a team create these videos for me, whether it be the video editing, the script writing, the voiceovers, etc. But for a channel like this, you really only need AI tools. Um, you don't really need any sort of uh, manual labor. The scripts are AI, the voiceovers are AI, the visuals are AI. All you really have to do is place the images that you generate into your favorite editing software and then just put the voiceover under that as well. It is super simple to do. The editing should literally take you maybe 10 to 15 minutes. That is probably the least time consuming part of this entire process. But let's start from the top. What should you do if you wanted to get started right now in 2025? Let's go over it. So there are three options that you guys have when creating your YouTube channel. One, you can start with a fresh channel, which means you basically make a new Gmail account and you start your channel starting from zero subscribers. Or you can have an aged channel, which means it has been around on YouTube for many years and YouTube has a little bit higher trust score with this channel because it's been around for a while. So they know that it's not like a spammy botted account or three is a pre-monetized channel, which means it's already monetized. And the only way you're gonna get that is through a website like this, where they sell these pre-monetized YouTube channels. And yes, they are a bit expensive, but it's the price you pay to get a pre-monetized channel. Plus, if you start getting views right away, you're gonna be earning money since you're already monetized compared to a fresh channel. If you got a viral video that got a million views, you're not gonna be monetized yet. That's going to take at least a couple days or a week before they even accept you into the program. So you're gonna be losing out on money. Therefore, it is up to you whether you want to get a pre-monetized channel or not. But if you do want a pre-monetized channel, the link is in the description. There's not many pre-monetized channels left on this website. So you do have to be quick. But whether you start fresh by an aged account or by a pre-monetized account, you're still gonna need a niche. The niche is pretty much the backbone of your channel. This is what's going to determine if you are successful or not. And using an AI tool like NextLev, you can find one within minutes. And there's so many different ways on NextLev to find it. I'm gonna go through this quick because I talk about this in pretty much every single one of my videos. So there's AI recommendations, which basically AI just gives you their best guess on what will be good for you. And if you keep scrolling, you can just find some of these AI channels. Like this is probably an AI channel. Um, and I keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. And you're going to find channels that just stand out like they're probably AI. So I'm going to scroll for like 30 seconds and find one. And we're going to use that as our example. So after a little bit of scrolling, I found this channel called Sleepy Monk with 20,000 subscribers. And first glance, they're not getting like insane views. But if you take a look at how long these videos are, they're around three hours long, pretty much every single one of them. So even when the video gets 10,000 views, that is still so much money. On the low end, this is probably 15 to $20 per 1,000 views. I would guess it's probably around 25 to $30 just because it's a three hour long video. Therefore, the RPM is just probably insane. So let me just play this video just so you can get a sense of what is actually happening with these AI videos. For thousands of years, Zen masters have observed something simple yet profound about our lives. Most of our struggle doesn't come from our circumstances. So as you guys saw, they had the text on the screen at the very start, and then they went into this one image. And this image will play for the entirety of the video. But what I don't like about that is it can sometimes get demonetized when you only have one image. So I like to throw multiple images, you know, every 30 seconds throughout the video. So every 30 seconds, you change the image to something else and you can animate all of these. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But it's just the same voice talking for three hours long, just basically doing these Zen stories to fall asleep to. So let's say we wanna create a video exactly like this one. What we do is go into the uh, description, press show transcript. And then with next slide, you're going to be able to click right here, export and copy the script. 
And then once you copy the script, you're going to head on over to cloud. So I pasted the script and I said, understand and analyze the script when it comes to its word choice, style, vibe, storytelling, hook, et cetera. That is all I need to say. And then it is going to basically just regurgitate everything that the script already did. And now you're able to create your scripts just from doing that. And now my prompt says, now create a script about Zen stories to fall asleep to. It should be 20,000 words with multiple stories that are unique, but similar to the sample script. And the reason we did 20,000 words is because that is going to be around two hours long and 10,000 would be one hour, 30,000, three hours, so on and so forth. So we're going to press enter and it is going to create our 20,000 word script now. And as you can see, it does an amazing job of doing this. It is going to take a little bit long just because it's 20,000 words. That's probably going to be like five minutes of generating and you can go do whatever you want. You can go make food. You can go to the bathroom. You can go on any other website while it generates. It is completely fine. It's going to get the job done and it's going to get the job done really, really well. Now let's say the script is done generating. What I would do is I would go and copy the script and then I would head on over to your favorite text to speech AI tool. I like to use 11 labs just because I feel like it's realistic. If you want to go with a cheaper alternative, you can use Minimax or you can use Google AI studio, but that is a little bit more time consuming and it can be a little bit annoying, but it is free. So uh, if you like free, then Google AI studio is going to be your friend. But for me personally, I like 11 labs and then you're going to click on studio right here. This is if you bought the subscription. And then you're going to do new blank project right here. Paste in your script like so. And then obviously you have to pick a voice that matches the style of your video. So for a channel like this, you don't want a voice that is sounding angry and like yelling at the audience because this is a video that they're going to fall asleep to. Therefore, you want a calming, soothing voice. So go find a voice like that and then you can pick it right here. And then from here, all you have to do is click export and it is going to generate your voiceover. So now you have your script and your voiceover. It's time to get your images that you're going to use. Like I said, we aren't going to be doing one background image for the entire three hours because I don't want to get demonetized. I don't want my channel to get terminated or whatever. So I'm going to do multiple images throughout the entire video. All I'm going to say is create image prompts for Nano Banana based off this script. Do the prompts in order of what is being talked about in the script. Then I'm going to paste it and it's going to do exactly what I want it to do. So as you can see, we have the opening scene. Then we have this one, this one, this one, this one. And now you just have to start copying the prompts and head over to Google AI Studio and generate these images. Then we are going to head on over and copy the next one, paste that in and just keep doing this for all of the prompts. Now, like I said, you're going to be doing this for the entirety of the video. You probably want a new image every 30 seconds, at least for the first couple minutes. After that, you can use an image and have it on the screen for like five to 10 minutes because these are long videos. You don't want to just generate images for three hours. That's not going to be fun. So the first minute have the footage change like every couple seconds. And then after that, it can change every couple minutes. So I would recommend around 30 to 50 images that you need to do. And now we need to animate these pictures because we don't want just a static image. We want it to be animated and moving just because it kind of just keeps the viewer's attention a little bit longer and it looks better. So we're going to click download on one of these and then we're going to head over to Grok Animate. Sorry, it's called Grok Imagine, not Grok Animate. And then from here, you're just going to click attach and attach your images there. And then all you have to do is just click make video and it's going to animate this video. Now, I do recommend getting rid of this Nana Banana um logo right there before you do this but for the example one thing and i'm not going to do that and then as you can see it animates the image pretty well i mean this looks really really good um nothing to really hate about this so do this for all of your images and now you have your script your voiceover and your images slash videos and then from there just head to CapCut or your favorite editing software and place the voiceover there and place the images on top of the voiceover in order because you created it so it is based off your script therefore all of the images should be in order this should be showing when the monk or whoever is reading his scroll or whatever he's doing i have no idea what the script is actually about basically what i'm trying to say is the images or videos on the screen should match what is being talked about in the video now you also need a thumbnail and what we're going to do is pretty much just copy what this person's doing so as you can see they have this monk looking zen person here and then the text we are just going to basically copy that with ChatGPT. We're going to paste in the image and say, come up with a prompt to create this image. I just said, come up with a prompt to recreate this image, but change the way the character looks. We're going to go like this and we're going to head back over to Nana Banana and paste in that prompt like so and just see what happens. And it came up with this bullshit, which I do not like. So now we are going to upload the file of the other person's thumbnail. So I said, recreate this image, but have the text say calming stories for sleep. That is just something I came up quick with. 
I would make it something like this, sleep with Zen, Zen for sleep, something like that. And I'll also just change what the person looks like a little bit. But let's see what they come up with. And that is pretty freaking good. As you can see, the text is pretty much the same. They just changed it, calming stories for sleep. Now, if we wanted to change how this person looked, we could. So I said, but change the character so it's unique, but a similar vibe. And let's just see what it comes up with. And this is basically all you have to do. Just keep playing with it until you find something that you like. Now, obviously, you can be way more detailed and have it specifically to your likings. But for me and for this example, I'm not going to do that. And this is pretty good. I would zoom in on this. I would say um, zoom in on the head more and have it blue. I don't know, something like that. And it would just keep changing it to your liking. So that is a pretty good start for your thumbnail. And then once you upload the video, make sure to add your video tags and channel tags. These are actually still very important. SEO still matters in 2025, especially for a channel like this, where people are searching for these stories to fall asleep to. So make sure that they're very, very optimized, like fall asleep, Zen Buddhism, Zen stories, meditation, sleep, ancient wisdom, mindfulness, meditation for sleep. Just keep on spamming this SEO and it's actually gonna do wonders for your channel. And a little pro tip, in your description, you should also be spamming these keywords, but do it in a way that it makes sense and it's still uh, easily readable to an audience. And they actually did a good job of that. They are spamming the keywords in here, like uh, Zen Buddhism, wise teachers, gentle lessons, blah, 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 self-compassions, peace, soothing narration, crackling fire. Like these are all words that people are going to be searching for if they want to find a video to fall asleep to. And then lastly, you should be adding the names of your competitors within your description. And basically what that does is suggest your videos under your competitors videos. So if you said my channel was inspired by Sleepy Monk, after a viewer watched Sleepy Monk's channels, your video is going to pop up down here somewhere. That's just how YouTube works. So start spamming your competitors in your description as well. And then from there, do this every single day for a month and you should see some results. And if you don't, well, then you're probably either one in a wrong niche or you're just not doing something correctly. And you're probably just not putting your all into it. Now, I'm going to be honest, I showed you guys a lot there, but if you want to take it a step further and really learn how to make these videos and so many other videos using AI tools in 2020, 25. I have a private community where I will teach you all of this, everything I've learned over the past seven years that has made me over seven figures in ad revenue alone on YouTube. It's going to be in that private community. It has a full course. It has the niches for beginners that are beginner friendly that will get you views from the start. It has weekly calls where I go live answering all of your questions, reviewing your channels, and you also have access to my personal DMs. You are actually going to be in contact with me, not a random person that I hired. So if you're 100% serious about making money with Faceless YouTube, join the community. The link is in the description, but if you're not serious, don't join because I don't want you to join and just give up after five minutes. So with that being said, link is in the description. Go join it. I'll DM you right away. We'll get started growing your channel. If you don't even have a channel, I'll go find you a niche for you. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Peace.